in this video we are going to take a look at how to install parallel tools go to actions and click install parallel tools it will uh, show how to install the parallel tools uh, click continue but it will not work uh, we need to uh, install some other tools before continuing okay let's see how it works uh, the parallel CD is mounted now you need to create a new folder I'm absolute noob in Linux so this is not the correct way but somehow it works uh, for me worked for me uh, create a folder name tools or whatever the name you like and copy and paste all contents in the CD to tools in this case now open terminal and go to the folder we need to change the permission of this folder uh, that is cd not cs okay cd desktop uh, it is case sensitive so you need to uh, really type the uppercase letter as it is okay now ch m o d e is wrong ch m o d is the correct okay <laughs> i made a spelling mistake so chmod777 tools that worked and go to cd tools and now type uh, this and you don't have permission so you need to be a super user type yes you the file name was correct but i didn't read that <laughs> okay again it is showing error you don't have permission so now i type su and give my password now i am root at bad okay bad is my host name okay that is worked okay i can type uh, this and you will get a screen like this click next and it need these components gcc mac dk ms etc so by default for some reason it cannot download that and this process will get failed okay the process is failed now click exit now we need to add some sources to the source list you need to go to you need to go to cd etc slash apt that is apt you can see that there is source list you need to edit that file uh, type nano and the file name sources dot list I recommend uh, deleting the CD-ROM uh, for some reason uh, it's uh, telling me to put the CD-ROM even after I am putting the correct CD-ROM I don't know why so I deleted that and going to Google for source list uh, that is Debian source list uh, search on Google and go to that Debian wiki Debian wiki and scroll down you will see that uh, there is a non-free source by default it is not in the list so we need to add that copy and paste it okay now press ctrl x and type y to save and type apt get update it will take some time okay the process update process is completed now we need to type uh, apt get install uh, build essentials I am going to paste that <laughs> okay it will take uh, another 
few minutes to download that file and install the same okay that installation process is completed now come back to the desktop I'm looking for the command uh, but I have failed miserably so I'm making a lot of spelling mistakes all you need to do is go to cd home your username slash desktop slash tools okay cd home vishnu yes okay i'm going good <laughs> type desktop yes uh, slash tools that's the shorthand but okay anyway we reached uh, it and again trying to install okay this time it will not going to fail because we have the essential build essentials installed but it still need a few more things so it is downloading okay you will see congratulations you have successfully completed the installation process now click reboot okay there it's rebooting and type your username and password here okay now the parallel tools is successfully installed parallel tools contain uh, essential drivers and other tools to communicate with uh, mac uh, so it is more flexible and you can use your uh, retina resolution uh, or if you are using another monitor you can uh, go native resolution and other cool stuff like uh, sharing folders etc so this is a very huge uh, improvement uh, okay anyway that's it for now hope this video helps thanks a lot for watching bye